as much as I really enjoy my job and have so much fun, there are days like this where it feels like I, my body wants to do more. And I'm feeling good today, right? Got my meetings done, have work to do. I like having tasks and assigned stuff assigned to me. And my back is in as, as much pain, in as much pain as I, it usually is. I'm a 65 year old in a 55 year old body. But yeah, I really enjoy my job and I'm very happy that I took the chance to go into another field because I, it's like I felt that this was a career or at least a path that I'd be happy in and something I could take part in and not necessarily have any issues or, you know, I'd be able to move, maneuver easily. And I'm, and I even, now part of it is the team that I'm with. They're really great. Let me raise this thing up so y'all could really see me. So I, so I was looking at my other video vlog I posted some days ago and brought up something that I, I claim to, I claim to have lacked motivation to do. I'm trying to find the right words or get the words together, you know, in the right order. And I realized I almost conditioned myself to say these things, not just for things that I really lack any motivation to do, but also for things I just do not feel like doing. Typically we have a list of things that we want to accomplish, goals, right? And whatever we prioritize, tends to be the things we get close to completing or we just accomplish it. Other times we end up doing things that show that some things are not as important to us as we believe they are. Some, you know, sometimes we just do nothing. Sometimes it's because we are overwhelmed. Oftentimes it is because we just lack the self-motivation. So I would correct myself and say, I just do not have the motivation to start on something now if I wanna complete a script or a story or editing a video, right? I lack the motivation. But then we have the case in my video where I was talking about, I'm not here to teach you how to write because I lack the motivation. It's not that I lack the motivation, I just do not wanna do it. I have to get myself back into that mindset of saying not just I lack the motivation but I just do not want to do something and because I've conditioned myself so much to say I lack the motivation and I did that partially to be aware or cognizant of why I'm doing certain things right it ended up pushing out other terms or other vocabulary but yeah I just do not want to do it another thing I wanted to share is some advice my friend Justin shared with me and it is that no one person has to do it all, right? We are so fixated and stuck in this idea that we are the main character, that we have to be the main character in this world, this vast world, this vast universe. And it is almost ridiculous to have that mindset all the time. He brought up, and I'm paraphrasing a lot of what he said, that we are the main, we try so hard to be the main characters of our own story. But what story? We are all here together. We are all here for one another and we are not here to do things alone. And we are here to do things together, right? We are societal beings, or sorry, social beings. And we create these communities to be there for one another and to support one another. The universe blinks and we are gone. We need to take a step back, get rid of the audacity to think that we are greater than what is the universe and what purpose you believe in. Another piece of advice he gave me, uh, he quoted Boomi from The Last Airbender, that the best thing to do, sometimes the best thing to do is to do nothing. And I also might be paraphrasing that.